just ask first of all, I noticed it's Hammersmith and Fulham. What were the seeds of the theatre company and what made it, what, what, why was it born? Well, the seeds of the theatre, it was initially funded by Hammersmith and Fulham, that's where it started, and it's grown from there, and as you can see, it's now celebrating its 10th year. Indeed, so, so obviously it's been very successful. Um, wh when, when did you get involved and wh why were you attracted to the, the idea of theatre in, being used in this way? I, I was invited to see a, a production, well, it was earlier on, maybe this year, much earlier on this year, or maybe the end of last year, because I've actually seen two now, which were quite radically different, two different productions altogether, and different to the one we saw today. And uh, from the outset, I just realised what they were doing was so important, apart from just the, for the, 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 yeah, the aspect of the play and the message that's coming across in that, but then the interaction um, from, from the audience, and uh, you've seen that, we don't necessarily need to give all the game away here. Um, but I could, see, I could see the tremendous possibilities in the way that people were getting really passionate about the input from the audience and um, that, that it had been outlined to me that they, that they wanted to take this into various areas from, from uh, treatment centres to schools to hospitals, etc., etc. And I could really see how important it is and, you know, it's important work. In so, as I said, I've seen two. This is my third. This is the this is the third production that I've seen. I think drama um, can be amazing therapy. I think in the right, it can be incredible. It, it, I believe it's therapeutic. That's why I got in, involved with this. Um, and my experience, my personal experience of, uh, of addiction, um, as a recovering addict and as a professional in, in the field. I mean, as an addict, I was a performer. And, and, and my addiction was almost maintained in a way by my performance, if that, if that makes sense. Because I could, you know, if I needed something, I would, I would be anything to any man, woman, or beast, you know. And finally, things are beginning to change. And now we have the government policies. At last, at long last, they're going, OK, instead of you need to do this, it's finally got to a point where they say, you're the people with the condition, tell us. What do you think would work? And I've, I've personally waited about 19 years for that, and it's just started as the new nice guidelines have come out, and we're hearing we want we want, we want to hear from the person with the condition. And when I was first involved uh, 23 years ago, 24 years ago as a patient, it wasn't like that. It was this is what you're going to do, this is this is the deal. So you know, I'm delighted. There's a huge change. Well, the second production I saw was actually put together and written in a relatively short time at that too, by by addicts, and that was really that was really powerful. And that well, was they've all been yeah. powerful, but but that to to have seen basically what I would consider to be more professional actors, to people that are just really on a on on a, on a mission with writing the script mm. and acting it themselves, it's it's powerful. The last mm. one was, was, was a training tour. They were invited by the NHS. It wasn't for, it's for, the, for the, the professionals. And the alarming thing is you have these situations where people in the NHS are face to face with a client. How much experience have they had? What do they know about addiction? And it's only recently as the change in, in the training of doctors and nurses in their whatever it is, three, five, six years, how many hours did they get on addiction? Have you ever met a recovering addict? We know about the chaos, but have you ever met anyone that's gone out and, and has rejoined the human race as a productive member? It's endless. I mean, the future, it could get... It, as people... Be, as the word goes out, this could go into all sorts... It needs to go into all sorts of areas to carry the message, to destigmatize, mm -hmm. and and to, to let the professionals know that it's there and give hope to, to everybody. Yeah. yeah, there's various productions too to fit various situations. Yeah. And one thing that I needed to be told in, in, in early treatment that I wasn't bad, I was ill. <laughs>